Okay, good morning my construction entrepreneurs. Um, started the video, now I have to restart it because I got a phone call from People Ready. Uh, sometimes use it, I use People Ready to bring in some uh, some labor help, things like that on different projects. They ain't worth a damn. But anyway, um, I'm headed right now to Baldwin Park, California to go work with a, a, a small concrete asphalt company uh, that does probably about two to four mil a year. They're looking for, to bring me into, uh, actually I've been talking to them for a while, but what they want is to increase their sales and they want to um, streamline this new um, um, anticipate, anticipation of work, right? So right now they're handling what's coming in now they need to increase that, so they want to bid on more projects, but they also want to streamline those projects uh, through a, a quicker estimating system uh, to get that from um, you know bidding phases to actually some you know a handoff to the uh, the superintendent out in the field and to you know ultimately completing those projects with a large percentage on uh, profit margins, right? So. I've been I've been uh, talking with them off and on. Been to their office a few times. Now I'm going back today to um, uh, uh, go through a lot of the uh, the bids that they're receiving. That people are actually the invitation to bids that they're actually uh, being requested to bid on. Um, and I'm going to. Go ahead and uh, uh, go through those, figure out which ones that fit them and where they're going. Go ahead and put timelines on those, review dates on those, and go ahead and put that into the, the system to, 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 to roll through this thing, okay? Now, uh, I personally know the owner. We're good friends. So I'm going to go in there and, and, and give him a hand and and, um, and see what we can make, make out of this thing here. But um, one of the things is I have already bid on uh, three projects for them. We landed one, uh, and I believe that project is going to start on Monday. So I may be able to, you know, show some content. We'll see. A lot of uh, generals don't want you uh, uh, videotaping on a project. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm restricted from, you know, producing videos on these uh, on these construction projects. Um, most of the time, but we'll see what we can do. And also maybe I can uh, uh, show you guys some content while I'm at their office. Their office is, is, is sort of small, but they don't need much else, you know, and that and that's 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 the goal is to, to, to how do you run slim, right? Run slim, just what you need, take care of what you need, and, you know, and keep that overhead down and the rest goes, you know, to, uh, to profit or growing that business. Uh, but one of the main things I, I want to touch on right now is uh, my construction entrepreneurs. Why are you still not profitable? Why are you still losing, but you're busy? Right? Why are you still losing, but you're busier than shit? Right? Hiring people, paying subs. I mean, it's just just rolling through this thing, right? Well, a lot of it comes down to uh, uh, knowing your value, you know, and I'm talking about handyman, I'm talking about unlicensed, I'm talking about licensed, uh, uh, I'm talking about small, medium, large contractors. A lot of times, just because you got revenue flowing, you think you're making money. But most companies out here do not know if they're making money. They're not actually, you know, breaking down what charges are on this project, what we had to pay out, and what we're making at the end. Um, and if they are, uh, sometimes it's not into the right system, right? A lot of things are false. Percentages are off. Uh, uh, and then a lot of those systems that they plug in these projects to are one size fit all. So it doesn't compute to public works, to, um, uh, to public works, 
to commercial jobs to residential jobs if you're doing those if you're working in those different sectors right uh and then also too where i see a lot of glitches on these uh uh pre-made programs is that they don't factor in the extra work um uh, uh, for a lot of these sectors like so if you're doing work for public works a lot of times your extra work uh, has a sh has a smaller profit overhead percentage than the work that you bid it on so you got to adjust when you're factoring in trying to figure out what you actually made on this project because if you had a shitload of extra work then remember that extra work is not the same profit and overhead percentage as the original contract work and then we 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 we, we um we tend to get off on our numbers and we don't find that it's true true percentages all in the end all when it comes out in the wash so knowing your numbers uh, 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 and then knowing your value, right? For the smaller contractors, it's not only knowing your numbers, knowing your value. You know, a lot of contractors or a lot of um, uh, guys that's, that's out here that's just doing, like, say, granite only, you know, and they're small time. And mind you, I'm touching bases on licensed, unlicensed handyman. It doesn't matter. You're still out here doing work. You still out here need to eat. You still out here need to feed your family. Okay? But don't use the same rates because that's what you feel the market is. That's what that's that's the going rate of this. That's the going rate of that. No, no, that's that, no, no. It's not a one size fit all. It's just not. So you have to understand that, and you have to break your rates down. For your overhead, your gas costs, your insurance, uh, 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 your helper's rate or helper's payout. All that is different company to company. Okay? What cars you drive? How much it sucks uh, 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 gas or diesel up? You know? How far are the projects? You know? What's the estimated cost on gas that you're spending now? Right? Uh, uh, going to go look at projects that you don't. Uh, uh, those uh, uh, when you go look at these projects, you don't get paid for it. Someone pays into that. You need to set aside money in your overhead percentages to count for that, because someone needs to pay for that. Okay. So in the end, another thing is a lot of people are missing these uh, 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 pickup charges, right? When you run the Home Depot to go get materials and, and 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 equipment that you need, somebody needs to go get that. It's costing you in some form or fashion. And someone's going to pay. And you're the one to pay if it's your job, if it's your company, if you're the main guy, girl, guy, doesn't matter. So you see a lot of individuals out here. And it, this is another thing that just really ticks me off. And I used to do it too. We, we meet up with other contractors, but we're never honest. Man, things are going great. I love it. I'm busier than shit. But you got so much problems and issues. They're not going great. They're, yes, you're busy, but it's not going fantastic. Actually, 90% of contractors out here are in trouble. We're in trouble. Okay? My partnerships are not going great. And that's the honest truth. We're making money, but it's not going great. You know, I got people calling me that I got I have to pay, you know, vendors. I mean, we're getting them paid and everything, but sometimes things don't line up. Sometimes things don't equal out. And you gotta make up sometimes issues happen. Most times issues happen, right? <laughs> that's funny. Most times issue happens. But that's what I, I put out here. I, I, I tell my construction entrepreneurs, be honest. Be straightforward. Lay it out like it is. And that's plain and simple. Okay? So if you wanna make money moving into 2018, okay, educate yourself. Okay? Educate yourself for you and your family so you can get what you deserve. It's, it's, it's sickening to find out you've been doing this for 20 years and you have nothing to show for. That's not why we're in this. We are a for-profit business. 
Okay? And the goal is to predict before the curve. If you predict right, then you stay ahead of the curve. If you're a contractor that just wait for the curve to hit you, you're always going to lose. You're never going to get ahead. You're never going to be able to provide that legacy. Uh, uh, employ family members and friends and, and get them employment and keep them busy. That's where you want to get to. Build this thing up. Like I said, it doesn't have to just be, it doesn't have to be this mega construction company. It doesn't. You don't have to build that. You can build a small company and keep 10 family friends, family and friends busy and make good and, and have them make good money and learn a trade. And what if they stay with you or not? They can take that and go somewhere else. So for 2019, you need to invest in you so you can invest that back into your company. Take a class, read a book. Um, there's another gentleman I know that's been on his own forever since, since probably, you know, for 15, 20 years, right? He's been on his own. So all he knows, all he know is what he has done, right? Now, one of the things that he needs to change or adapt to is reading more material, okay? Because, see, see, there, there's a handful of us, like myself, I was fortunate uh, uh, enough to get with a successful company and learn their process. Uh, and this is a shout out for my younger contractors, right? Uh, you, you 16 and 18 and 21 year old contractors get with a company that's successful move up in that company if you're an entrepreneur you're going to move up you're going to excel in any company that you're in move up in that company and take it as if they're paying you to go to school learn the process learn the building learn the workers comp learn how to manage people learn how to get more jobs learn how to deal with high-end customers learn how to deal with uh, 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 government officials learn how to deal with inspectors learn how to problem solve these are the things you learn from other successful companies and, and I, I remember when I um, and if some of you guys heard my story I went from working for a, a large general contractor to becoming a partner with the owner of a large general contractor he does about 70 50 to 70 million dollars a year so I went from the employee up to a partner side by side with this individual, which was an amazing story. So, but when I was there, when 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 I was there, when when I started out there, I always looked at it as if they were paying me to go to school, and I got paid very low at first. But I didn't have much to give them. But as I learned and I absorbed, I excelled. And I got paid a lot more, very lot more. But I was able to take that experience to, uh, when I was ready to do my, my next company, I was able to take that experience to the next company. And that's what I did. I took that experience to the next company. And it was just an awesome thing. It was awesome. Loved it. And, and, and I started doing side jobs like most of you guys do. Girls and guys, I don't mean to not mention women in this because women play a big part of construction. I apologize. But learn from it. Get what you can from it. And then take that experience and go somewhere else. Don't be so quick to jump out here and experience this, this, uh, this entrepreneurial lifestyle. There's a very small percentage that get into their first business and rock and roll and be set for life. That was uh, sucks. He did that, right? And there's a few other individuals out there, but it's a very small percentage. Most of us have to learn from somewhere. And if you learn it from yourself and what you're doing, and you're not really taking the content, watching videos like this, uh, 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 investing and learning in yourself, then you're always going to be wrong. You're always going to do wrong. Okay. So, for 2019, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Leave it in the comments. What are you going to do to add to your business? What is going to be your new sales goal? Are you going to do a mil? Or are you going to do two mil? Are you going to do 500,000? 100,000? 400,000? How do you get there? Right? 
How do you engineer your company to get there? Okay, you can't do what you did last year if you want to step that up to that to B or to C level or to D level to E level, right? You can't do what you do you did last year. How are you going to change that? And it doesn't necessarily mean hiring on more people. It's maybe just replanning your day, your week, how you've been on projects, what projects you've been on, right? Maybe that's the issue there. So look at those, look at those, those, those areas and tweak them. Okay. And remember, the bigger the company, the longer it takes to, to, to make transitions. The smaller the company, the more quicker you can make transitions. So stop losing for 2018 and start winning for 2019. Stop now. <laughs> this is another little nugget here. I used to tell um, uh, uh, some of my students a while back. I started my change in August. I start working on 2019 in August. That's when it, that's uh, August September. Uh, uh, that's when the new cars come out for 2019, right? You see the new cars, the previews. You can probably go and buy some cars for 20. Dude, yeah, they're already in 2019. They're already making cars for 2020. You need to get ahead, and you need to stay ahead. You need to already start positioning for, you should already be in 2019. You should already be there. Why aren't you there? Why are you still in 2018? You should be in January and February already. Learn how to get there. Stay ahead of the curve. I gotta go. I'm about to, um, I gotta send off a few, few more emails. I'll post again. See you guys in a little bit. Um, uh, uh, leave me some comments. Hit me up with some questions. Um, I'll probably be doing a, uh, uh, a live stream where, where I can answer questions live and we get this stuff out in the open and, 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 and learn and, and you know, figure out some solutions here and, and, and work some things out, get some stuff answered for you guys and, uh, and move forward like that. Okay. And, uh, and soon we'll be talking about these, some some of these classes I'm going to be holding here. All right. So I'll let you go with that. Remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. See you on the next one, my construction entrepreneurs.